Marvin, you made your England debut this evening for the under-20s. Uh, how did it feel to be wearing the free line shirt? Um, I think it's the best feeling in the world, really, to represent your country. And hopefully I'll get the opportunity to do it again. But obviously, I was disappointed that we lost today against a good front side. So it's not really like we've lost to a bad side. They're a really good side, obviously, European champions. And they've got a lot of, they had a lot of players from that squad. So it's, there's a lot to take from the defeat. So, 11 minutes into your debut, you scored a goal. It wasn't a bad start, was it? Yeah, I know. Um, to be fair, a couple of the coaches and a couple of the players were saying that they would bet on me scoring tonight. And uh, it's good to score. It was a good little run from uh, Matty Phillips to square the ball for you, wasn't it? He had, a, he had a good game as well. Yeah, he had a really good game, I thought, as well. I think, like, taking on the defender, getting crosses in. And his, he took on, I think, about two players but the goal and crossed it in and I just had an easy tap in. How have you enjoyed being part of the England setup? Is it a little bit different to your, your club stuff at Watford? Um, it's not really too much different, to be honest, because obviously being in a professional environment, everyone really does the same thing. But it's been a good experience and playing against France, a top nation as well, been a really good experience and hopefully I can take that forward with me. He was impressed with the, the French side, as you said earlier. It's obviously, I think they had about seven or eight of their Euro winners in the team. So it was a good experience for you. Yeah, they're a very technically good side. And it's a different experience to playing in the championship. So you have to, like, it took me about a bit to get into it and get used to it. But the coaches and the players around me gave me a lot of uh, advice and helped me get through it. Obviously, you've got the likes of Luther Blissett and John Barnes are kind of Watford legends of all worn the England shirt and you're following their footsteps a little bit. Yeah, obviously, I've heard a lot about them. Luther Blissett in particular, I've been likened to him by a few fans and some of the coaches. So it's good to finally be able to take the path of the international. So what's, what's your hopes for the rest of the season to keep playing regular football and maybe get Watford into the playoffs? Yeah, well... I want to score as many goals as possible from now to the end of the season. Keep doing well for Watford. Hopefully we do get to the playoffs. And uh, that would be a massive achievement for us considering what a lot of the press was saying from the beginning of the season really.